hi guys welcome to another macquarie 5 mercenaries video well one of many i should say a lot of people ha on my stream as well as in my discord and a few other places keep asking me about the mod packs that i have for my macquarie and well of course that'd be my phone going off pretty much the new newest update for macquarie 5 mercenaries allows you to have the mods activated if not you need to go into your options and then you should see something in gameplay where it's uh is it gameplay where is it or uh, it's gonna bug me now there's a, there is an option uh in one of these things to enable the mod pack um again no it's in the launcher i believe it's in your epic launcher click on the gear cog and then I believe you click on um, enable mod mods and so here you go you get the little mods box you click it you open it up this is where your mods will be installed and you can click on open mod folder and of course it opens up the folder itself and these are the current mods I have installed clans weapons packs yet another mech uh, tonnage lore and armor but now again it will tell you if your mods are conflicting with other mods and it will tell you that you need to restart your client if you try to install certain mods if you've already got the mods in in, in question installed not a problem you can always hit refresh especially if there's updates for the mods as it will update the mods for you very similar to how red orchestra 2 does its mod system and very similar to how uh, company of heroes 2 uh, does its mod system now we can then go to single player, continue. It'll load your current game, um, and the mods will be there. Some mods will stay that they don't kick in until you start a brand new game, or you're doing a game plus, or you, you to, or until you've reached certain parts within the game, like reputation level 10, for example, things of that nature. Um, now, I personally, the mods I use are just designed for more old school battle tech which means when you get a base mech instead of it being stuck to that that version of that mech you can then go into your manager and customize it to how you want to make it be any variant of that mech it is not designed i repeat it is not designed to, to break the mech and or break the game it is just solely designed to allow the players to enjoy Battletech and MechWarrior Universe, how you're supposed to. Now, bear in mind, this game is installed on an SSD and it did take that long to load up my account and my game, mostly because I've got a lot of content. I've been playing this game now for about four or five days. And so, yes, there's my C-Bills. That's a lot of money, yes, I know. Um, here's a set list of some of my mechs. I've got some in cold storage over here that need repairs. But... You, you get the idea all it does is it allows you to make your own variants of mechs i've got to bring that one down bring my so what we'll do is we'll use this griffin as an example and instead of just straight up repair the mech we're just going to go to edit loadout now normally you're not allowed uh, uh three missile slots you're normally allowed one uh, usually the ams slot is not activated on this variant of the mech but this one is again because it unlocks the mech for more customization it doesn't make for example it, it, it to me it's a griffin it won't let me convert it as if it's a mad cat or an annihilator or or a wasp or any of those other kind of mechs it only gives you all the variants unlocked for the griffin or for the the annihilator or for the atlas and so it allows you to customize your mech excuse me much more appropriately and it also allows you to use um you know, uh, uh, better uh, heat sinks. For example, I can go to here. Instead of double heat sinks being you know, a double icon, it's now only a single stack and various other things like that. So I can replace all these single heats with, with doubles if I want to. I, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could. And various other things of that nature. That's all my mod packs allow me to do. They don't do anything, you know, ridiculous i mean here's an orion for crying out did, did i not purchase the orion i thought i purchased it uh well anyway there's an orion mech no it was just before i purchased it for seven million credits from house steiner um not that i'm interested in that 
but we can look at what's on the equipment market. Again, there is clan tech, say long toms for example. You know, there, there is long toms, long tom ammos, um, and things of that nature. That's all this mod pack does is it, it, it adds clan tech. Um, there's no clan mechs yet because the mod pack maker said he is currently working on uh, importing in some Mech Warrior 3 and uh, Mech Warrior 4 uh, models. And uh, again, different game engines, so he's having to run it through certain things. But at the end of the day, that's how you do it, guys. And I hope this video answers your questions. Uh, if it does, please give the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, until then, guys, keep Jeff slaying, keep your enemy max dying. Cover Commander is out, and I'll see you guys on on Twitch, or I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye bye.